a night to remember is simply put as this. This is the best Titanic movie made, okay? And it's, so far, it's the Titanic movie I always wanted to see. I always wanted to see a Titanic movie about the actual Titanic. You know, not based around any fictional storylines or anything like that. No, 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 this movie doesn't have that. This movie is told from the point of survivors, of course. And it's put into this recreation that is simply put as the best one. Okay? And then the plot of the movie is basically chronicling Titanic's final night on her maiden voyage, of course. Now, there is some inconsistencies with this movie, but it's not really bad. Because at the beginning of the movie, they christened the Titanic. Titanic never got christened at all. So, her not being christened probably led to a lot more bad luck than she should have deserved anyway. Uh, another thing I'm still trying to figure out is how do people think Titanic was unsinkable? I never, I never found any logical explanations of why people thought that ship was, wasn't going to sink. I don't know what led them to believe that, but I often wonder if that was their ignorance that led the ship to sink in the first place. I, I don't know. I don't know who came up with that theory and it wasn't even tested. So, shame on them for not testing that in the first place, and shame on everybody for believing that, you know? You can't believe everything you hear, so I know I sure as hell wouldn't when it comes to a ship. I know that shit can sink, okay? Just because somebody says, oh, it's not going to sink. Bullshit, okay? Shit can't stay afloat for a lot, for a, forever. <laughs> but anyway, um, I look at this movie, and unfortunately, I kind of see the 1997 movie all over again. It is almost a shot for shot part of it not exactly all the stupid crap but all the main stuff that I see in that movie I see in this movie so I don't know if Cameron took from these three Titanic movies or four calling the 1996 one which I'll get to but I see bits and pieces from these other three movies in the 1997 movie damn but the acting in the movie is great. I love the acting in this movie. I love the recreation of everything. It was to the T to the most point. You have the other ship in the far distance, the Californian, who actually saw the Titanic sitting there on the, um, when she was sinking. But the, oh, she's probably just sitting there. <coughs> and then they say, well, what happens? Because she looks like she's listing. Uh, it's probably just the angle she's sitting at. You should have went to go check. Okay? When the fucking Carpathia believes them and you guys can't even go and check even when they're lighting fucking flares. Just like the captain said, God help you all. <laughs> Fuck. Because that's fucked up though. That, is, that was really fucked up. They're just sitting there watching them uh, shoot off flares and stuff. What type of celebration they gonna do out in the middle of the fucking sea with fucking white flares? Come on now. I got that they said something like that in the 43 version as well. I'm like, people. There's no celebration going on when you're lighting up a flare. You should know what the fucking flares are if you're a fucking captain of a ship. Speaking of which, he was sleeping the whole fucking time. Of the Californian. So that pissed me off. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, people um, being held back from getting up to the top, and then when they finally get to the top, most of the light bolts are fucking gone. That's fucked up. Having them locked up in a cage down the damn thing like a fucking rat is fucked up. So, yeah, how about that? We didn't even need slavery. It was right, that, right down the fucking Titanic. Brilliant. Brilliant. That says a lot about Titanic's ignorance. To tell you the truth, so maybe her sinking was this ironic virtue for the way the passengers were treated, for the, the ignorance of all the rich people who said, 
Oh, this ship can't sink and all this other stuff. Yeah, right. I bet you all the people that survive now know the ships can sink. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, don't ever say nothing can't sink because it could. And it possibly will. And I like the fact that as the ship is sinking, it's sinking very slowly. It's not like all the other two. Where the ship, once it gets to this final edge, it just goes straight down real fast. No, 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 no. This motherfucker sinks so fucking slowly, the lights actually go out, just like the 1997 version. That was another accurate point of this movie. And of course, I was waiting for two of them to fall off, but only one fell off. So only one smoke tack stack fell off and hit a couple of uh, people in the water, so... We didn't get two, but we got one, so that, that that's, that's still a plus, right? But I, I, I love that, that final part, and this ship is just slowly going down. It's like, yeah, that's fucked up. And the music is playing, too, while I was doing it, and it, it's, it's fucked up, man. It's very fucked up. And, of course, the ship still goes down whole. So, that I, I can, I can, deal, deal, I, can feel, I can I can be okay with that. That's another inconsistency because they didn't know it was an inconsistency at that time. But you think survivors from the ship would have told them that the ship broke apart. So I don't know if that somebody actually ever told them that and they just didn't believe them. I'm like, the ship couldn't break apart like that. How the hell would it break apart? That's why I always wonder, if you ever interviewed any of the survivors of the Titanic... Why did nobody ever say that the ship broke broke in two? I guess that's something else I gotta look up for homework. But other than that, A Night to Remember is my favorite Titanic movie ever made so far. So it's my only only my fourth Titanic movie I ever fourth Titanic movie I ever seen. So I'm gonna give A Night to Remember an A plus, definitely the definitive Titanic movie. Let me know what you guys think about a night to remember down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I will catch you guys. I do believe the 1996 movie is next. But it will probably be next year since I've already reviewed the last three that I had to do anyway. So, I'll see y'all then.